Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Hey. hey, everybody. Welcome to the Rough House Live. Got Edgar, Reeve, yeah. Matt here, Rough House Studios. Let's do dabs, y'all. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. I gotta cut the um, I gotta cut the thing down. Who's next on a dab? Uh, Fire it up. I'll do it. Here you go. Yeah. Got a joint going. All right. Happy 420, everybody. I mean, dang, it's 420. <coughs> I feel like everything I say is being repeated like a few seconds later. Did you get it? I think so. There we go. We had a little audio problem there. So, um, what's up, guys? It's uh, 420 here in California. Having fun. We've been shooting videos at YouTube Space for the last couple of days. And man, there's so much going on right now, right? That was a lot. A lot going on. Things are just crazy, been busy, and um, I hear people are getting their channels deleted. I don't know what's going on uh, with people's channels. So we're kind of wanting to talk about that tonight. I don't have any insight. I have no idea what's going on. But if you guys know anybody that's channel's been deleted, know what's happening, please uh, you know, fill us in in the comments section. We're eager to know that. Kind of a downer being that it's 420. Everybody saying dab up. Dab up. We're dabbing up tonight with the. Um, which way is this going? That way. That way. Did you hit it yet? Is that right? Yeah. Oh, well, then it's on me. You skipped them. Double hitter. I did double hitter. Yeah. I'm a double hitter. I'm going to have rotation. We'll do it again. Isn't that just a wreck of train out there? Did y'all hear that? Probably. That's what it was. I'm going to wreck the train. <laughs> The train by the beach. The most personal train that they have to get around on. So yeah, what's up, everybody? <coughs> we're gonna we're gonna ask you guys what oh, we're gonna ask you guys what you're smoking on, where you're smoking from, and uh, yeah, what's going on? How are you celebrating 420 tonight? We're celebrating with um, so the train. The train. The little cup. The dab cup, the dab cup, whatever it's called. Yep. Um, we're going to be smoking dabs. What is this? The Gorilla, Gorilla Glue number four. I'll show you all the dab in a second. Here we got uh, dragon fruit. Oh, can I show it? Yeah. We're smoking dragon fruit as well. This is wax. I'll skip myself this time. And this was the Gorilla Glue wax that we have. It's already out of the pack, so I'll just show you at first. It's really nice looking peachy color. Oh, yeah. Gorilla Glue is always kind of orangish to me, right? Seems like. Yeah. Then, nectar collector. Yes. And, and then uh, this is the Star Fruit, which is a hybrid. What was the name of that place? Green face or something? Green memory. Green memory. And uh, this is that guy said so he just came back from uh, Secret Sesh. Oh, Fucking shit. Lit. Oh, I bet. Here in LA. Where was it at? Yeah, where is it? Let, let, let us know where the Secret Sesh was at. I'm Boylston. <clears throat> where? Oh, Boylston? Oh, Boylston. Oh, Boylston. Oh, Boylston. Oh, Boylston. We missed it. Ah, there's another one on Sunday. So I really like the one on Sunday. Double barrel. <laughs> Double barrel blast the foes. We're on a mission tonight, though, right? So we got those two dabs we're doing. And then we're going to be smoking this bud, which I can't remember the name, but it was an OG that I got. Real lemony and gassy, like I like it. But I can't remember the name of it. 
And then uh, we have some church OG. Three. Boom. <coughs> Don't worry, y'all. We're going to be nice and hot for the end of the show. <laughs> we got this church OG. Oh, if y'all could smell that, this one really smells good. Mm-hmm. What is this one we're smoking right now? Is that uh, what this is? Currently smoking Jamaican Dreads. It's a hybrid. It's all gone. Jamaican Dreads. Just got a little gram of that. And then I'm currently rolling Super Blue Dream. Looks nice. Oh, yeah. That's that one that smells so good. Yeah. That one does smell great. I've also got some, uh, some other Indicas. The Black Magic. Like it's a little darker. Yeah, that one's almost. Here. It literally is almost black. No, no not this one. This is the. Oh, that's yeah. Not, that's from a different. It's like a dark green. Okay. But then this one. Oh, that's the one. Super purple. It's like it's so dark. That's the one. that's almost black. Yeah. yeah. Let me hold up another bud beside yeah. it to show the comparison. I get one of these right here. You can see when one is against another one, you're just like, Whoa. yeah, look the contrast. That was ash. I thought it was part of it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just even a little smallest one. It's getting loud out there. So, uh, yeah. And then also, we're going to be munching on some edibles, homemade, these homemade sour gummies. Y'all probably saw maybe the recipes for edibles, uh, gummies recently, but this was a sour batch of made with cherry, sour cherry gummies. In fact, I think I might just enjoy one of those right now. Shout out to Shane Bell. They said it's 5.36 in England right now. Uh, Floor gummy. Ah. This is an Airbnb. I'm not going to eat anything off the floor. I would not have them in here. Thank you. I just want to throw this away. I'm going All right, so I asked you guys to say where you're uh, where you're watching from and what you're smoking. So I'm gonna go through the list now. And give you guys some shout outs. Okay, so bear with me. My mouse is like way over here because we're using the laptop that I travel. So let's see who's watching. They're coming in kind of fast, so y'all bear with me. I might be kind of going quickly. So listen up. Uh, Jay Smith says dab up. I think I will do a dab as soon as I get done with this. I'll do another dab. Jay Smith, thanks for watching. Hey, what's up, Swage Master? Hey, man, haven't seen you in a while. Mary 483, happy 420 to all you guys, too. Tika Williams, oh, it's over in Pittsburgh, but still smoking. Ha ah, yeah, we got a little late start. We planned on going earlier, but uh, it just didn't work out. We were working all day at the studio. Um, Jay Smith, dab up. We're going to. We're going to. <laughs> But for next, happy 420. You got to cough to get off. We will be getting off, I mean, coughing quite a bit shortly. Yes. Israel Orono, Volcano Vape Bank from West Texas. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, those are awesome looking. I've never actually tried a Volcano Vape, but man, I wouldn't mind trying it for sure. Lola Baby, how come I wasn't invited? Oh, but you are, Lola Baby. You were invited. Star Delta 9, cheers. Happy 420 at Rough House. Thanks, Star Delta 9. Uh, banana Kush Indica Dab Pan. That's what Swage Master is smoking on. That sounds nice. good. Yeah. Kid Lokes been puffing on some Gorilla Glue Number no. Four THC oil all the little day. <laughs> that's what he said. That's where we're actually. This is the Gorilla Glue. Uh, the Gorilla Glue wax. So maybe I'll do a dab of that and a dab along with you. Maybe. There, maybe. maybe definitely oil. <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> call me out on that good call. Fucking Liz says, "Hey, Rough House, I just came back from Secret Session. Oh, that's the one you saw. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for the kind words, fucking Lit. And uh, yeah, maybe we have to check out one of those things. We're gonna go to the High Times Cannabis Cup one day this weekend. Sure. Sergio V says, "Yo, what's up? Hey, Sergio. Zombie Ghost is on his tenth or her tenth bong rip. <laughs> what's up, God? Zombie Ghost two thirty five? Yeah, man, that's good. Ten rips." I'm only on like later. I'm only on like six or so. All right, uh, Jay Bowley, forearm Derek says yo. What's up, Jay boy? I just rolled the ugliest joint of my life. That's not ugly. It's, <laughs> it's so crooked. Oh yeah, it's so crooked. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that little that one side of it. Hopefully, it's mixed. That's why I've rolled some joints like that in tutorials and trying to hide it from the camera, like just don't show that side of it. All right, wait. It's time to dab soon as dragon yeah. fruit. Uh, okay, Star Delta says Nipomo. I don't know what that means. Nipomo? Nipomo? N I P O M O? Anybody know? Um, where? Oh, no. Nipomo to you too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that room, this room is cloudy. And it's going to get even cloudy. Uh, says Lola, baby. Hey, Highbridge from Chile in Sud America. What's up, Highbridge in Chile? Thanks for watching from all the way down there. Baka Karium. Hey, what's up, Baka? Yeah, we were working. Sorry it was so late, but it's still 420 out here. Jaden Starr has got Girl Scout cookies and hash all day. Thanks. The bud is uh, pretty beautiful. Thank you for pointing that out. We, we're having fun with it out here. Uh, how's the Girl Scout cookies, Jaden? <coughs> Nick Fogarty says, happy 420 from Sydney, Australia. All right. What's up from Australia? Hell yeah. Pure OG is what I got. Oh, I love pure OG. It's my favorite. Just like just a a pure OG in general. But you know, somebody asked uh, fucking list is can you do infused al pastor tacos? Fucking love al pastor. That'd be a good slow cooking meat to al to infuse, wouldn't it? Definitely going to look into that. That's a great suggestion on the al pastor fucking list. Right. Possibly. Definitely possible. Yeah. Definitely possible because you could infuse it in the marinade and the pineapple, the layers of the pineapple and spices yeah, and meat. That, uh, torch demo for Great suggestion. That was going on the list for sure. I actually got a list now. Too. I want to put it on there. Watch me. Watch me. Indeed. 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 <laughs> Have to, I don't know how you can do that, but we have to, we have to work that out. Uh, where's my list? Video ideas. I'm going to do this on the list this time. I always tell people I'm going to put it on the list, and then there is no list. But now there's a list. There should have been a list the whole time. They're always, you just made the list. I intended to have a list. I just never did. That's, that's a reference for all you old school wrestling fans. Infused Al Pastor tacos. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of other stuff that was caught in there. Infused Al Pastor tacos. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Al Pastor tacos. <laughs> Anybody doesn't know what Al Pastor means? It's that kind of meat that you might see at a taco stand. It looks kind of like a Euro meat that you might see at a uh, Middle Eastern like Euro plate. And um, it's called apparently Al Pastor because it was when uh, Middle Eastern immigrants uh, it migrated into uh, Mexico and a lot of them like uh, into South America and they uh, a lot of them were uh, sheep herders or whatever and they were in the pasture a lot or whatever. So Al Pastor, that's what I heard. Anybody know if that's true? Um, Sounds never, right. Never knew all that. It's true though. I Look it up. Fucking Look it up. The shit is good. Fucking bad. Shane Bell is in the big shout out from no big shout out from Rotherham, UK. From Shane Bell. What's up, Shane Bell? I'm not there. <laughs> I'm kind of high, huh? Just, oh yeah. Can I move it? Yeah, yeah, you're good. I you're thought good. you thought you might have been. No, no, you're good. Uh, okay, where are we at? Uh, ganja cloud. Yeah, we're in a ganja cloud for sure. Zombie goes to smoke at Blue Dream. Baka Carrium is hashtag beautiful. Or this. Oh, oh damn! I missed a bunch. I went too far. It's okay. Uh, Vanessa K says, I love your Nug Live shirt. Thanks, Vanessa. 
you can check out Nugwaf. He's a DJ from the – where is he from? The Bay Area? I think so. Check him out. Oh, uh, Napoma is Nug in Life. California. That's where the secret sesh was. Oh, Napoma, California. Oh, that's pretty – where is Napoma? I don't know where that's at. They have secret seshes everywhere, I guess, because there was one here in – or at least one here in L.A. Probably a few today in L.A. What? Do you know where that city is? I never heard of it. I'm about to look it up. Uh, Jeff, it just took two hits of his blueberry vape, and he is hashtag couch lock. <laughs> I hear you there. Uh, Dave Baby Lungs, take bigger hits. Uh, I mean, you like, big hits. It's like you being, you mean you like Who the fuck is you? take big hits. It's like you being a uh, That doesn't make sense. X five cents. What? Like, if you don't take big hits, but then you're being a hog at the same time. I don't get it. That, that is a contradictory statement. Smoke another one, bro. Smoke another one. Well, Falcon Lombardi says, no, I'm not from Compton. I must have gotten to a conversation that I was not privy to. I don't know. Some guy. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm just trying to figure out where the fuck the promo is. No <laughs> Indica got me slumped. Sweet. Yeah, I'm slumped too a little bit. Because I worked hard all day. Not really, actually. We smoked all day. <laughs> Instead of working, <laughs> it was 4.20 when we were trying to work, but we had a lot of breaks today. I'll tell you. Long lunch. It's north of here. It's in between. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. Frank Lombardi says, Custom Grow 420 was deleted off of YouTube. Anybody know what's up with that? Is that really what happened? Did, did he get deleted, or did he delete his own page and move to... They who the shall Lugan not Bill. be named. Yeah. Oh, did he move to Twitch? Uh, look, y'all, I'm going to do a big fat dab, and I'm going to use them, put them in my little baby lungs. And I'm going to cough my head it, And I'm going to hog it in my little stop baby hogging lungs. Don't hog it. Now really hogging it. I am really. Now I'm, now I'm hogging it. I hope this, yeah, that's the, and this is Gorilla Glue. I'm doing a big dab of Gorilla Glue. It's right there. There it is. We also made some uh, wax earlier today. We made this cartridge, and it's actually really good. We made it with wax liquidizer. And uh, <laughs> before we move on, I just want to, Shout out to some people who like made this trip to California possible and a live show tonight. And also uh, they made a live show possible a little while back. <laughs> and um, it's a dispensary and it's in Koreatown and its name is Solstice, Solstice 7. And uh, I think you should check them out. I don't have the address for them, but you can find them on Weed Maps. I'm pretty sure it's Solstice 7. And uh, like I said, they're in Koreatown. They have bongs, pipes, they have accessories. And uh, all kinds of stuff. So check them out. They're really cool guys, and they're a supporter of the show. So, uh, uh, like I said, check them out on Weed Maps, and appreciate it to those guys for uh, sponsoring uh, the show. So, we'll we'll mention them again a little bit later, and uh, at the end of the show, I'll put that in the description so you guys can look it up. Solstice Seven on Weed Maps. They have a Weed Map page, right? Uh, I'm not sure. You want to see if you find it? Yeah. If they do, we'll, we'll flash it to the screen and show them what it looks like. Yeah, I'll try to get that. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Let's get a dab going. I've got that dab in there. Let's pass it up. Are you, you all right, bro? Yes. Oh, yeah, I can tell. You want a big fat dab? It's an instant. It would clear your nose out. You ever notice that? You got a big fat dab, and it's like, I'll be driven. Like, every, every time I do a big dab, it makes my nose. Well, that's just what out. happened. That's what just happened to your phone. Well, you didn't see that fat dab I just did? Oh, just now? No. No, I did. Did you do it of this one? Mm -hmm. That's all I thought seven solstice. <coughs> what if uh, I get it wrong? <coughs> that's probably it. Is it in Korea, Tim? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Seven solstice. 
Só que nós somos solstices. No, I'm solstice and uh, we're backwards. We're a little dyslexic over here at Rough House Studio. <laughs> it was written to me as solstice. Seven. Oh, yeah, no, I see it. Uh, it's seven so solstice. They're in Koreatown. They do have a rematch? Yeah, they are. I'm taking it out right now. Okay, cool. But they're on Google. If you look it up. Oh, they're you can on, also just Google them. Yeah, right? Google seven solstice. They're off of Olympic in Koreatown. Ah, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got oh, a, they got so spot. They're open until one. Take bigger hits. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're, no, open, they're, they're open until one, so they're still open right now. They're open now? Till one. Till one a.m.? Yeah. The fuck? Oh, wait, what the fuck? It's delivery only. Yeah, you know what? That makes sense. We were trying to go to six. That's why I don't have an address for them. It's delivery service, by the way, guys. I think it's a shop. <laughs> Anyway, we're not sure if it's a shop or delivery service, but they're open to 1 a.m. They're on Google. They're on Weed Maps. They're really cool guys, and they're supporting our show, and we're grateful. So thank you. I am goat sex, says Maurice Young. No, oh, fuck. That's nice. Huh. Whatever well, that means. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't help but wonder and wish I could stop. What's 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 uh and what's shaking out there? You wanna read some comments? You wanna shout out some people? This dude said uh Jonas, I don't know how to say your last name, I don't wanna butcher it. Uh Ellen Scott. Ellen Scott, yeah. Uh he said happy four twenty dudes got any advice for us. Poor souls living in Norway where you can only get half ass hash and it's super illegal. Uh yeah, advice don't go to jail. Uh, that's, yeah. that's the, uh, that's my only advice. Don't go to jail. Yeah. Or come out here. It's great out here in California. The weather is nice and sunny and you know, you look at what we're doing and we're not even worried about the police talking. Anymore. So yeah. You got any advice? Pass that joint my way. I'm, I'm do I do it again. I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to take care of it. It was when I was getting attached to it. I'm glad you got it away from me. All right, Maurice Young, smoke out of the 619. What is the 619? I don't know, but a, a lot of these people are talking about ghost sex mm -hmm. over here. A lot of people? A lot of people, and they're all talking about ghost sex. Ghost sex might be a brand of weed. Is it a thing? Because somebody says, I'm smoking goat sex. Somebody said they were goat sex. But that's Donald J. Trump that says that, and we all know Donald J. Trump does not do drugs or drink. But he does have goat sex. That's he true. probably does. I heard that one before. Yeah, and he has golden shower goat sex. I heard from at Strain Central. Oh, Frank Lombardi heard from at Strain Central that his channel got deleted, uh, referring to Custom Growth 420. That sucks, dude. Why? Why? Because uh, I'll just take a moment to let y'all know what's been happening with uh, the Rough House channel, because we've had some issues with YouTube as well. Uh, we had seven strikes you know like community guideline strikes all come against the channel over the past like six weeks some of those piled up where there was two at a time there was times when i couldn't upload videos at all for over a couple of weeks and for about six weeks we couldn't do live streams that's why we didn't have live streams for a long time uh, i did i did file an appeal on every single strike that we had and um they were all overturned in in our favor eventually but uh, it, it really was bad for a while because only one more strike in our channel could have been deleted. So I'm curious if the people that have been deleted have been uh, filing against the strikes because you can appeal the strikes and you know fight your case. And um, I do know that uh, YouTube hired a lot of people to moderate and a lot of people maybe didn't know the rules and a lot of people were getting flagged. And then um, when someone actually reviewed it, they got, they got passed. So. Anyway, I don't know what happened there, but uh, it was tough for us for a while too. But we're we're actually been filming at YouTube Space for like three days, and they're no, we're filming weed videos. They don't have a problem with it, and so it's confusing. It's very conflicting, you know, like what's going on. I really don't know. Uh, I wish I had some more information, but I probably have more questions than I do answers. Clearly, I do. So if anybody knows what's going on, I'd love to hear more. And thank you, Falco Lombardi. Lombardi, Falco Lombardi. Thanks for uh, thanks for getting that information and passing along from Strain Central. <laughs> okay. 
Well, and uh, I too am goat sex. You have goat sex? No, I am goat sex. Oh, you are goat sex? Yeah. It's funny though, but I am really because my dad's nickname is Goat. So I guess. His nickname is Goat? Yeah, they call him Goat, my dad. I thought it was because our last name is Lamb, you know, my name is Lamb, so Goat, Lamb, and I never really questioned it, but as it turns out, it's because when he was younger, he like laid out of school one day to go find the goat man in the woods, who actually was a man who like caravaned with goats, and he like was a nomad, and he had like a wagon, and he got pulled by goats, and he had like a whole herd of goats, and he would just travel the countryside trying to find people who would let him feed his goats and shit on their pastures. And my dad was like curious about it and left school or didn't go to school to go find the guy. And then, you know, he found him and hung out with him. And but people made fun of him for it and called him goat from the on. So, <laughs> so uh, I read an article from ismokemag.co.uk. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay. Uh, Reeve here, he's like found an article. We're talking about, uh, this is about Custom Grow 420, right? Yeah. So yeah. he's looked up about Custom Grow 420. What you got, Reeve? Yeah, uh, they're talking about um, apparently he got a couple of strikes or three strikes in like a couple of hours, apparently. Hmm. Um, And it's looking like it is definitely confirmed that it was deleted by YouTube. Uh, And thousands of videos apparently championing patients and the wrongly incarcerated means fuck all the new normal is a tweet from Uptown Grow Lab. Was it? What did she say? Yeah, three strikes in a matter of hours, thousands of videos apparently championing patients and the wrongly incarcerated <laughs> means fuck all the new normal. Okay, okay um, so it's a purge played and simple. Somebody says, yeah. Apparently, DNA genetics, Harmony, and Pigeon 420 have all had their channels deleted. Did you say that already? No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, so I honestly, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I've had even recently, but all that problems I have, I was having ended a few weeks ago, like three weeks ago. I didn't have any more strikes come in. But lately, I've had some videos get age-restricted. Which, you know, like it, do, it doesn't seem like if you're violating anything, they're going to age restrict it. They're going to not do that. If it's a violation of policy, they're going to take it off the channel. And but what's even more strange is I've had recently a couple of videos get remonetized, videos that had been demonetized about weed and everything else. All of a sudden, I got an email that said, congratulations, your video is eligible for monetization. It makes no sense. So honestly, I honestly think and I hope they can get it together, but I think I'm it's just out of control for YouTube right now. They don't know and can't get it together. You know what I mean? They, they don't have the answers. And it's been that way for a while. They give you conflicting stories about what, you know, is going on, you know, with their whole thing about saying that monetized videos and demonetized videos have the same reach that, you know, that they have to get the same amount of views. But it's not true. I've seen videos get demonetized and lose views. And recently get remonetized out of the blue, and then all of a sudden it's the busiest video on the channel within you know hours. So it just it's just a bunch of lies and bullshit. And I honestly think it's out of control, and they don't know how to fix it. And they're just you know what I mean, just just like a fucking bull in a china shop. And there's a lot of collateral damage. And hopefully he'll get his channel back. <laughs> but I don't think it's against their policies. And I think it's just like they said, a bunch of strikes come in it one time and before they get a chance to review them, it's automatic that you got three strikes and you're out. And hopefully they'll get a manual review and it'll get reinstated. Okay, here we go. This is a screenshot from YouTube. Apparently after Pigeon 420's uh, account was deleted, this is an email sent by YouTube informing him again that Due to repeated or severe violations of community guidelines, your YouTube, YouTube account has been suspended, and apparently it was already deleted. So they're sending this email again after his account is already deleted. Yeah, and you, your account deleted. You can't open any other accounts. All this other stuff. Just. But yeah, I mean, 
I, I'm curious mainly to know is like, are the people that are getting deleted, are they appealing the, the things? Are they appealing? Because I think there's bots that are flagging videos and unless they're appealed, then you get three strikes and you're, you're out, your account gets locked. But if you are appealing them, the bots get overrode, you know, get overridden when the person that reviews it says, oh, this was a weed video. It shouldn't have been flagged and they pass it up. So I, I really don't know. I really does hope it, I really do hope it works out though, because I know custom growth 420. I don't know him personally, but I know he must have invested a lot of time and probably money too in building his channel. And YouTube has encouraged a lot of people to do that over the years. And it's not really fair for them to just all of a sudden rip the rug out from underneath people. And, uh, you know, they treat people pretty poorly. Uh, it seems like with impunity and it's, uh, something that's probably going to have to change because they're going to find themselves without any creators or they're just going to find themselves, which was what they seems like they want, but it's just going to be a bunch of status quo bullshit that nobody comes to watch at YouTube anymore because of all the cool edgy shit has gone somewhere else because YouTube treated people like shit. So, you know, the karma's a bitch, you know, goes around, comes around. They treat the creators like shit. They really shouldn't expect the creators to turn around and come back. <laughs> and then even the, <clears throat> the article I'm reading, uh, their uh, magazine's uh, YouTube page got deleted as well. So they're commenting on it as well. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. I don't know if that can be repaired. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it in some other manner. Well, yeah, everyone should appeal weed videos because, listen, this is another thing that happened lately is YouTube updated their policy, and now it says videos of hard drugs. It doesn't say videos of drugs. It says videos of hard drugs. It doesn't put it in quotes, but it says hard drugs. It didn't used to say hard drugs. So hard drugs is not marijuana. So... I think that it was a mistake. I think that uh, hopefully they'll get their channels back. You know, maybe the media will pick up on it. It seems like the media doesn't really care about weed channels, but they sure do care about dragging YouTube through the mud. If you noticed, I, I think there's a little bit of a coordinated campaign from outlets like CNN, which is owned by Time Warner, which is Warner Brothers and Mubu Studio. Um, all these uh, vertically integrated monopolies which are the big three distributors of films and videos you know, viacom and disney you know which is on abc and owns the marvel you know like there's very few people that actually control most of the things that people watch but youtube is getting a huge amount of share of that and youtube is getting like 60 percent or youtube and facebook together get like 60 percent of all online advertising are spent through those two platforms and What's happening is TV advertisers are getting threatened by the amount of money that advertisers are spending on YouTube and other things. So TV platforms and CNN and the New York Times and all these other media organizations that are tied to all these other corporations that are selling you media are getting threatened by YouTube. So they're trying to single YouTube out and say, oh, YouTube showing ads against, you know, videos on hate speech and YouTube showing ads on videos on ISIS and they're pointing them out and causing all these big controversies, making YouTube's advertisers leave, giving YouTube trouble. So a lot of it has nothing to do with YouTube. Well, it has a lot to do with YouTube, but a lot of it has to do with people basically attacking YouTube, trying to keep them from getting so much of that advertising money. Because if you think about 60% of all the advertising money that's spent on the internet, if that money is not being given to Google, well, maybe it'll be given to you know, buy, buy some TV advertising again instead of spending all their budgets on YouTube videos. Because advertising companies are spending more and more money on YouTube and less and less money on traditional TV because people are cutting the cord, you know. So I think a lot of this controversy comes from that, you know, it's about money. 
<laughs> it's uh, like a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know we look like a Viking, dude. <laughs> Thor, dude. You call him a Viking? This is Thor, the god of thunder. You're, you're playing with fire right here. I'll tell you what. <laughs> It's the Norse guy. <laughs> <laughs> he shits Vikings uh, for breakfast. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is 420. We're high as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like Thor. And you know, and that's another thing. What if it's this? You know, what if it's somebody? What if it's another weed channel? What if it's like, uh, I don't know, the the pissed off stoner channel? And they're like, oh, well, you know, they got deleted. And they're like, well, all these other channels aren't getting deleted. And maybe they flag like every fucking video that 420 channel had. <laughs> and they got, you know, they got deleted. Because they said they got flagged like in a few hours or something. <clears throat> so maybe it's some hater out there. You know what I mean? The stoner hater. I don't know. Or maybe, you know, it's some like conservative, you know, group doing it. A church group. Shut down weed too. <laughs> Flag it down. <laughs> Scientologist. <laughs> conspiracy theories over here. I am peddling conspiracy theories openly. These are conspiracy theories. I have no evidence. I'm just throw up spitballing ideas. That's what I'm doing. But so yeah. what's the plan? Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Happy 420 from El Salvador. Yeah. The plan. Yeah. Like the plan, like we're gonna go start raiding from churches. Oh, like what are we gonna do for retribution? See if they're planning shit. Who? Churches. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we'll have to find out. Yeah, we'll have to do research. Find into their basements and shit. See if they're holding secret meetings. Yeah, I don't know. How do you? How do you do research? Find out who's. Because I've thought of it before. When it was first started happening to me, I thought, you know, who's doing this? You know what I mean? So we'll see. Was it you now? <laughs> yeah, flagging myself. Yeah. Yeah. I flagged myself. I tried to delete myself. I'm self hater. I hate myself. <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right. So let's see. Let's talk to some people out there. Enough. Say, I don't say yeah, enough with the woes of YouTube. I feel bad for everyone who's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, you I have not had this. <laughs> Can I try your uh, relaxer, dude? Yeah. Look at that. That's so cool. It's like, do you see it? It's like blowing the. Oh, ah, see the God of Thunder right here, I tell you. That's magic. Hey, does anybody out there watch American Gods on TV? I think the new season's about to start, but I think they're having issues, but I hope they come out soon. Are you really? I hope you can handle this dad. Too mean. Oh, let It's not. That's not bad enough. Not too fat. That's so what she said. So she always. But she's got a big. That's how it is. What? That's how it is. That's why mom's on whiskey. So what? What, what were you talking about? Monica Lewinsky. No, what, that's what Bill Clinton said about me, Monica Lewinsky. The problem was not his smoking, it's the problem was her big mouth. And also, I know a joke from about 40 fucking years ago. <laughs> Trailer Park Boys is the shit on Netflix. It is, and for some reason, YouTube flagged your comment for saying that, Falco, but it is the shit, so. I'm going to unflag your comment right now. Show it. Ah, show it. There we go. Happy 420, brothers, says OK Gift MC. Hey, what's up, OK Gift MC? Happy 420 to you, too, and thanks for saying it. Everybody's asking about the munchies, and I don't think it's the munchies. I think it's just time to eat, but yes, <coughs> I am yeah. high and hungry. We are. Yeah, I am hungry, too. And I, luckily, the dispensary that we went to earlier was giving away pizza. I should have gotten oh, a piece. No. You didn't get a piece? I got one, but yeah. I wasn't trying to be greedy, so. Yeah, me too. I just got, I one got too. another one. Yeah, I kind of feel like I'm gonna it. And it was good pizza, too. It, it wasn't, wasn't bad. bad. Yeah, it was, it was, it was actually good pizza. That shit, it was good, though. 
Shout out to Timmy. Oh, you mean it was good because we were faded? It was good, but I didn't really agree. So we better, were, better. We were both. I was a little hungry, but more faded. But I'm now I'm actually hungry. Okay, that's not what I'm doing. Right now, my dad. Harold Bullock asks, "How much weed will you smoke during the show or during this show?" Uh, we don't know. TBD. Yeah, to be determined. We're like three joints and a couple dabs in. Yeah, probably about a, a quarter of gram. A Since quarter, we started this, a quarter show. of weed and about a gram of wax. Or no, two during the show and we smoked one before. Yeah. Quarter of weed, gram of wax, about. <laughs> Like hundred and some dollars worth of stuff depending on how you look at it how much are you going to smoke during this show of course there's three of us it's not that much i guess really we smoked a little bit uh, earlier too but that, that's all gone yeah we did uh we smoked uh, all throughout the day actually starting out with dab after dab of rosin that was fresh yesterday for an experiment <laughs> remember yeah <laughs> it was a few dabs and then uh we went to work for a little while and did that one video the news video so there's a news video that's coming out uh, for april guys if anybody likes that news show and then what did we do after that we smoked we went we went and did the the drone and did dabs and the guy at YouTube Space was trying to get onto us for doing the drone. You were there that time. Yeah. Somebody said do a slab dab. A slab dab. Yeah. Is this the this is the dragon fruit here? Yeah. Who goes? Is it still good? All right. I I I'm not gonna do a slab dab because I already stuck it on the side of thing. But there's kind of a big fat dab that I got going right there. Yeah. I'll do this. Oh shit. Yeah. Here, let me. I'll do that. I'll get this one down. Right, 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 right. Go for it. You show that one off, and I'll get this yeah. one. Yeah. I think I've packed this one too tight. That's what she said. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it me loading on? Make sure you hit them both at the same time. Maybe a hard to present you guys nice and quick. Nah, you're good. Do your thing. Oh, yeah. Do it after. Yeah. Oh, don't spit all over the joint now. <laughs> Slapping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to blow on it. <laughs> no, it's not really wet. Is it a little bit wet? All right. So somebody says slab dab. It's not super big, but it's kind of long. <laughs> Oh my god, that was good. That was good. <laughs> okay, we'll uh, we'll put this one aside for a minute. <laughs> we'll get back to this one a little bit later. I'm sorry about whoever rolled that joint. I owe you one. Here. Here. I don't replace it with any of these. Any of these fine that you decide to choose. I should probably move these out of the way of the torch for now. <clears throat> All right, so. <laughs> slap, dab, slap. Is that how you do it? Slap, dab? Yeah, slap, dab. I wish this would uh, was clear what you can see to it. Oh, oh nice. That was, the, that was the milk award of the night so far right there. I was like, I was thinking, I wish you could see the milk when, um, when you hit it. Yeah. 
<coughs> there you go. He blew it out. <coughs> it's a creeper. Mm -hmm. It's a creeper. <laughs> so um, let's, get, let's get back to some questions out there. Anybody has some questions, please answer them. Uh, ask them, and we'll answer them. <coughs> Speaking of questions, <coughs> here's a question from Mr. Harold Bullock. He says, have you guys ever watched a magic show baked? It's pretty. Yeah. I, I watched a magic show in Venice. I forget what it was called, but it was kind of like one of those kind of like edgy kind of little Venice <laughs> shows. It was one of those daredevil things. You know, he had some pretty daring kind of escape or uh, magic. And it wasn't pretty, but it was it was exhilarating and it was cool high. It really was. I would I would recommend the magic show high. Never been. Do you like get into it? Or, like, because some people like just don't like magic because they like know it's fake or whatever. They just kind of look kind. You could show you like you know. Yeah. Some of those America's Got Talent ones are like damn. That's amazing. Yeah, 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 for sure. Shit like that is because it's like <laughs> wasn't quite that well. It's more. <laughs> it is kind of a creeper on the top, man. Slab dab. Yeah. Just clean glasses of water. Well, I finally feel like I'm like 429. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been like trying to get there all day long. It's hard to do that at work. Right? That was a good one. That's what she said. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So I was in the middle of asking for questions, and then let's we'll see if we have any questions. So, have you researched any crystalline or gotten any yet? Uh, yeah, I've smoked some crystalline before. We've, you've smoked some too. Yeah. Right? Um, I I have a I didn't I was I liked it, but I wasn't like blown away by it. Um, hey, thank you, OK Gift MC, by the way, for your uh, donation there. We really appreciate that. Thanks. Uh, yeah, there's a super chat button, a little dollar sign there. No, somebody just sent us a donation there. OK Gift MC uh, did that, so thanks a lot. As soon as we recuperate from these dabs. We will uh, do dabs for anybody who made donations through that um, in your name and your honors. <laughs> so that's going to go to the uh, dab We fund. Need a Pizza Fund. Oh, God. Oh, God. Probably. It's got to be oh, fucking yeah. horrible. <laughs> especially, especially here. here. <laughs> especially here. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Rayosaurus? 404, well, what's up to you, too? Happy 420 to you. Uh, 420, oh, in Mexico, yeah. <coughs> uh, Pure Royalty said, does anybody else impulse buy when uh, when they're high? Yeah, candy bars. I see, well, sometimes with munchies, but with everything else, I feel like I'm more hesitant. To buy, I'm like, uh, is this a good idea? Yeah. No. Nah. Sometimes cautious to a fault. I like go in yeah. and buy something, and I won't buy it because I like, don't have exactly the what I want, or like, you know, change my mind, or I think I might get it cheaper, or just look at it for a minute and leave, and be like, I don't know, not quite ready yet. Make such a commitment, you know, it's a pot pie. You know? uh, I want to. Can we send that guy's comment? comment? Because I want to comment on that. You want to guy? No, I want to show it. This one that says uh, it's held for review. Oh, yeah, I saw yeah. that. I was going to show it anyway. I don't yeah. Care. It's not. All right. I don't uh, this guy know. says, fuck, Mary kill, Megan Fox, and Angelina Jolie, Jennifer Aniston. And my answer is over fucking played question, my friend. Overplayed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be an asshole. But <laughs> you did me too. You purposely, uh, <laughs> you purposely showed the video. The <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a replay question. <laughs> I, I agree with this. We do play that game too much. But I would fuck and I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I, uh, I couldn't. No. Uh, Shane Bell says, America's Got Talent is a ripoff of Britain's Got Talent. It's not a ripoff. It's a spinoff. 
Uh, let's see, Dan Primus. What's up, guys from Southern Illinois? Happy 420. I'm watching an episode of Bong Appetit and smoking a joint of Big Boss. Hey, Dan, what's up, Dan? Uh, thanks for the comment. Sorry, I mean, it's really far away. That's why I'm reading like I, I've just learned how to read. So. <laughs> Uh, anyway. This uh, Johnson 0045 says, have you ever done a nose rip with some dads? No, sir, I have not. <laughs> Did we do it? Somebody did. I've always declined doing it because it's like, well, like before, nobody wants to hit the joint after you blow something. Nobody wants to hit the yeah. pipe after you pick your nose on it. And we're like, no. And then it's also like, if you you know, if you open up the door to doing nose dabs because someone asks you to, where are you going to be sticking the bong next? <laughs> no. it's like, I'm just going to draw the line. line somewhere. Big fat dabs. That's where I'll draw the line. <laughs> In my mouth. Big fat dabs. Straight, normal, old, boring mouth to bong contact. You know, hate to be approved and all that. Shout out to Sam and the brain. What if it was just your personal? Would you do it? I do do it when no one's around. No, I'm just kidding. You want to hit it? You want to hit the spot? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I always do it when I hit it. That's my thing. That's my thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's <laughs> going nine times. <laughs> I'm not going to back down from a dab challenge. I'm torching. I'm not ready. Yeah, we also have these. At some point, maybe we should roll one of these. Thanks. I'm going to roll one. Don't. Yeah. Sure. You can put uh, some of these OGs in. Oh, that's the test. So, uh, yeah, these are cool. Oh, they have the CDs. These are those. All right, somebody's asking about what this is. Hmm. What a so part of it. Um, this is a oh shit. Oh, there's nothing in there. Hmm. That's the point. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, who wants to dab? Who's ready? I think it's on uh, Edgar. Oh, but there's nobody wanting to know what the. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Atman, I forget what it's called, 20 GSC or something. If you go back on our videos and look back like three or four product reviews, we reviewed this. I gave it four, four stars or four and a half stars. Because I really like it. It's a silicone nectar collector. It's portable, basically. It's a portable nectar collector. It's, you know, kind of hard to break silicone. <laughs> And um, I'll show you a little more about it. It actually has a quartz tip, and it it gets kind of warm, but not warm enough really here to make it like you know unsafe. You know, you can touch it just after he heated it to like really really hot. You know what I mean? So, and it's silicone. It's not going to like be that hot. I mean that uh, it's got a pretty good tolerance to heat. So. Then we have a water chamber inside. It may be hard to see. I can't tilt it over my computer, though, because it will spill water out of it. But <laughs> there's water in here. Trust me, they're right there. And it's a bubble. There's a little cycle action here. Cap goes on to the top. On <laughs> top. It's a really simple device to get a dab, you know? And then you, you heat the tip here, and then you just dip it into, and into some kind of bowl. And this needs cleaning, but we've dabbed a lot with it today. So, um, yeah. But, you know, you can just clean out or just use another glass bowl. Or you can use a silicone dish, or you can actually use the dish that's provided on the base here. But this one can be a little awkward to get. Okay. So there you go. Ask a simple question. Get a long, complex answer. Yeah, let me show you an example. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Now I go again. It's almost impossible not to do. 
So I said I forgot what you were talking about. I know. I forgot what I was talking about. The other guy says thanks for the explanation, man. Sam. <laughs> Oh, I thought we were smoking crack. Other guys said you you're smoking more than one rock, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, God. Yeah, so I love yeah. oh man, I just did a slap down. I got I'm good for a you second. Right. <laughs> I'm, good. Good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It's for twenty. Another one, man. No, I'm just <laughs> oh, it's, I was thinking it was 420, but this it is 420 somewhere, maybe it, in a few minutes. No, it is. It's 1020. Oh, it's 1028. It was 420 somewhere in the morning. Minutes ago. <laughs> in the morning. Yeah. You know, people always say that it's always 420 somewhere. No. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, it has to be. <laughs> It's only 427 once an hour. No, it's not. In the alternate universe, there's a stoner no. Jimmy Buffett no. singing that song. Yeah. Once an hour, it's 420 somewhere. <laughs> um, but only at 20 after the hour, every hour is at 420 somewhere. Um, everywhere else, every time else is 419 somewhere, or it's 421 somewhere. But only at 20 after the hour is at 420 somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Only for one minute of every hour. Is it 420 somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> but people always say it's always, you know, it was 420 somewhere. It's like, no, it's not. It's, it's 316, you know. And four I've minutes of every I've heard it. I've heard it's four o'clock somewhere, like when someone says they want to drink. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the 420 just means it's 420. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, totally <laughs> overthinking it. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm just I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, what's going on, people? Um, let's let's see who's watching right now. Uh, there's some comments coming in right now. So smoking in bed is disgusting, <clears throat> says James Andis. Okay, smoking cigarettes, oh, cigarettes, for sure. I don't know what they're talking about, but even smoking weed, you know, maybe you shouldn't smoke in bed, but I don't know. There's some good reasons that why you should, I but I don't want to get into them on a forum such as this. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of times, yeah, it's like, I'm not going to get out of bed just to smoke it. <laughs> or a joint or whatever. Or like a cartridge? Like a whatever. Like a wax okay. cartridge? Is perfect. Something. What about a dab from bed? It might be kind of dangerous because you can imagine setting your bed sheets on fire or something. Yeah. But I've seen people do it driving down the road too. So, you know. Okay. Don, Don, Dan says, Dan P says, Hey, what's up, you guys from Southern Illinois? Happy 420. I'm watching. Oh, I already read that. I've got to go back down here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, speaking of the Bon Appetit episode, I think they are doing a. Uh, on Vice, they're doing like all weed shows all day. So it's like Bong Appetit, Weed Etiquette, and all that stuff. That's pretty cool. Check out Vice if you want to watch some weed stuff today. But it's too late now, right? It's like shit. Oh, Mad Crew, I wear some rap, Wappa right now. Says Jamie Andrews. Samuel Grill says, What the hell is it, a bong? Oh, yeah. that We answered that. Yeah. Niall says, hey, hello from Ireland. Wow. Niall says, hello from Ireland. Yeah, that came out better that time. What's up, Niall? Hey, thanks for watching again. I think I remember uh, your name before on the show. Christopher Wolf, did you find out the other plants that produces THC? Wow, Christopher, that's a good question uh, to bring up again. I uh, haven't done the research on that, so I apologize. Um, but I have heard 
I have heard it. I can't remember it now, but I have heard that mentioned before uh, since then. But I don't know what they are. But there are other other ways to get THC and other kind of cannabinoids that act a lot like THC without cannabis. But uh, um, sorry, we'll have to do, get into that at some other time. But thanks for reminding me. I have to look that up. Thanks, Christopher. Uh, okay, here's a really good question, and I'll try to be brief on the answer. Which, you know, pretty much means I'm going to t talk a long time about this one. No, I'm just kidding. James Endes, uh, do you think this channel will get axed with the others going? Sorry if you've spoken about this. Um, I hope not. I feel, I feel pretty confident that it won't at the time, but I know that policies at YouTube can change one day from the next. So, but like I said, we have actually been working at YouTube space for a couple of days and they like they know very well that it's cannabis related material and they've cleared a lot of claims against our channel very recently so i don't i don't know i i like to think and maybe i'm just being hopeful but i like to think the other channels were deleted by accident and maybe they'll get restored but there could have been something specifically that was against their policies on their channels i really don't know what's going on honestly but i hope not and i don't think so but if it does, uh, you can go to roughhousestudios.com and all the videos will be there as they are now hosted on an Amazon video host because I've already done that because uh, I knew this might could happen. And then there's something that I can't really announce now, but there's probably going to be another way that you could access our videos very soon. And it's a very exciting partnership that's coming up, but I can't really say much more about that at the moment. But as I've been saying for a while, there's a big announcement that's coming up about that. So. It's really exciting, but uh, that's as far as I can get on that at the moment. Just know it's some good shit coming down the pipeline. Okay, what's going on? Niall says, smoking along, boys. How are y'all doing? Doing great. How are y'all doing? Fucking high as fuck. Do you want some edibles? Do you want some non edibles? There's some white chocolate stuff over there. I am probably about to grab one piece of that chocolate. Yeah, it's right there. It's on the I, I There's also some stuff in the fridge, like some yogurt and stuff. Help yourself if there's anything. Yeah. Uh, Could order a pizza too if you want. Um, do one more. Yeah, let's do. Oh, you want to do that? Do you mind? Oh, cool. So look. Oh, you go ahead and get that out, then I'll show them the package thing. Um, yes. You want the grinder? Oh! Oh, the other one. The other Oh, hey, uh, he came up with this idea basically for a video because he put, look, weed in like, like, like this. Beep, beep, beep. Different kinds of weed in a joint. Excuse me, like a pack of lifesavers. Wouldn't that be cool? And so every time you smoke a few hits, it'll change a different type of weed you're burning. Like instead of blending all the weeds together, stacking them into like little mm -hmm. sections yeah. like a pack of lifesavers. So do that? Yeah, with a bunch of different kinds of weed. You want to do that? I don't know. Do you want to do that? I mean, do you want to pitch in a little bit of I got three, three right, right here. I have six different kinds of weed. If it wants to, yeah. I'm asking you if you want to. All right, well, I was going to do it with the three, but. That's why I thought of it. But then, then I wasn't suggesting that. I just thought it was a good idea for a video. Yeah. Oh, for a video. That's interesting. Yeah. That what do y'all think? Yeah, I think that's good. Hey, uh, tomatoes make THC in the leaves as well. That's what Christopher Wolf was getting at. Yeah. I didn't know that. Tomatoes in the leaves? So you can like boil tomato leaves and or something? I don't know. Um, Brad Ferry puts seeds in a paper towel, wet in a Ziploc bag. Yeah, you're going to sprout some seeds, Brad. I think that's how you could do it, yeah. We used to do it in, you know, I don't know, video cassette cases. <laughs> you ever see the video cassette case? Mm -hmm. Like, right? How what about, I can't remember. Like, you know, you could take when they used to have the clear ones, you know? The like, clear video cassette tapes, like for when you had homemade videos or whatever. And you could, those were great for propagating seed or making seed sprout. You could take a wet paper towel fold it over and put it in one of those video cassette cases and just it would close but it wasn't quite air suck tight we yeah. would let air through and light through too and just like put it you know like somewhere <laughs> in a constant lighter temperature 
and those things they would sprout big long seeds and the uh, you know big long roots and it was really quick i love them for that I wouldn't mind having some video because anybody ever sprout a, anybody else ever sprout a video sprout their uh, their weed seeds in a video because <laughs> 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 if you did i will know how old you are if you did do you really of course i don't have any plans of growing weed anytime soon but it might inspire me to get started so for weed yeah, well, you can sprout any kind of seeds in my game. Oh, yeah, you see the rolling of blood. Me and I'll say, come on, yes. Hey, uh, there were some donations I saw there that we probably need to shout out there. Dab for it. I'm going to dab for these. I'm going to make a dab. I'm going to do a dab for these every, donations. Every yeah. donation of the. Not for all, there was a couple, so I want to combine all three of them. We didn't do one for the last one, right? And so I want to do one for all three of these. Because they're all the same person anyway who donated all of us. Hey, uh, thanks, OK Gift MC. We really appreciate that. I'm about to do a big fat dab in your honor of your three donations. Thank you so much. It's really cool of you to do that. Thanks, so bro. you've donated enough to the dab fund to, to inspire dab, in my opinion. Do you want to do it? I had one out for you already. You got it, dude. You going to do it? You, no, you got it. Right. You got it. You got it. That you want to do one. You Absolutely. Got you got it. I got it. You got it. I, I got it. You got it. I got it. You got this. No, I got it. I got you. I'm the one that said they would do it. I'm not going to back out of it. I actually kind of wanted to do that because it's 420 and shit. Thank you, uh, OK Gift. It's really cool of you. Thanks. <laughs> There's these uh, devices that they make where you can uh, you can actually hook those chats to things in your room that will cut lights on, or it'll like and it will like make actual things do things. Did you know that? Yeah, I told you. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. It's like a program, and a, I'll be back in a second. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. It's like it, it hooks to your computer and it interfaces with the chat system through like some sort of like universal program thing. <coughs> so multiple devices. So it might be a musical device, it might be a smog machine, it might be like a party light, you know, something. It could be anything, because a lot of companies make different things that'll do it. And then when like somebody makes a donation or does a certain kind of act through the chat, it'll make that device do something. It's crazy, huh? Or some of them are just simple like plugs where you can plug a lamp into it and it'll plug your own lamp on and off. Or, or say if you have like an electric bond or something, you just make it happen. I don't think there's such a big, but if you had it and we cut on on and like all of a sudden smoke will come out, you'd have to like hit the bond because you definitely know I mean? gotta activate it. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> Be kind of weird though, like you're a trained monkey or something. You <laughs> know, like somebody throw you the chicken feed me out. But it'd be kind of fun too. It'd be like a fun game. So what is it? You a seed. What the Oh yeah, I see it now. Oh, All right, right, speaking of, you got the video container. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh baby seed. It's a little. Oh, there's more? That's not unusual. Hmm. Suspect. Okay, so anywho, that was a delicious dab, man. Thanks for uh, <laughs> the gift, there. Okay, gift. Uh, it will kill your. What happened? I'm sorry, I missed the comments. They go fast. Uh, beautiful wake and bake from the UK. Hey, you Peter Benkowski. Cool, man. In the UK, that's awesome. Oh, it's morning over there. Wake and bake. Cool. Uh, thanks for joining us for your wake and bake. Um, let's see. I guess 420 was yesterday for you. 
From uh, 1 to 10, how baked are you guys? I know, 20. Ha, ha, ha. You know, I'm, I'm <laughs> pretty close for me right now. I'm high as shit. I'm probably like that. Eight. Really? I, I feel pretty nine, like, because I, I'm like, well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe at the moment. I calm down. <laughs> yeah. I was up there a little while ago. Let's see. Uh, Brad Ferry says, I will try out. What are you trying out for, Brad? Hey, what's up, Brad Ferry and Lori 25HU? Thanks for the questions, guys. Um, let's see who's out there. Lori 25, beautiful medicine. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You you oh shoot! You just you try to go down a little bit and it goes. Bow, wait, wait, wait. Uh, dabbing every which way. Yeah, I'm going a little crazy on the dabs tonight because it's like the holiday, you know, for just a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I think people with schizophrenia probably should not do cannabis or dabs for sure. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just catching on a conversation that's going on between somebody else. But uh, let's see. Let's keep over that. Uh, going to Canada, Montreal. Antoine, Antoine F. in Canada, Montreal. What's up, Antoine? Thanks for joining the show. Um, okay, Gift says, hey, just smoked a third of an ounce the dispensary had for $50 per person. Just smoked a third of an ounce. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's a lot. <laughs> Ooh, sounds like fun though. Shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's a big fat. That's one, like one of those uh, challenge codes or whatever. How do you figure you smoke the third? Maybe they're just going like I had this much and now it's this much. Oh, uh, let's see where are we at. Uh, Nef Nefisul Islam says hello. Hey Nef. Nafisul, I'm sorry if I messed up your name, but thanks for watching. Uh, Asa Warren says, uh, from Mesquite, happy 420. Thanks, Asa. Uh, Nafisul is smoking on Stardog. What are we smoking on? Let's see. We're about to smoke on uh, a blunt that's OG out of these little hemp wraps that are organic and they have CBDs in them and they're pretty cool. This one is grape ape. I haven't tried that flavor yet. The other ones I had are really cool. And then we're smoking on this, this wax, which is, which one is this? Gorilla glue. Gorilla glue. Yeah. Thanks man. Uh, this is the Gorilla glue wax we're smoking on. We've already smoked about half a gram of it. And then, um, there's a few other buds that we're smoking on. Church OG. Can't remember this one, but it was an OG too. Here, I'll show you a close up of these two. Which one had the seeds in it? It was either the church or the one from the uh, Apologize for those seats. <laughs> and this is the church OG. I'll try to hold it as still as I can. Is it? Oh, shit. All right. And, uh,. That's kind of it. We're also that one is in these edibles. They're gummies, sour gummies. A couple of vape pens. You know, just a little bit. You know, it's 420, so we're just you know one or two things to smoke. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's another wax in there too, but I'm not going to open it up. There's a couple more weeds over there, but you know. I think you've seen enough. <laughs> now there, if you go back to the beginning of the video, we actually go through all the rest of it too. Um, you see those in a lot of subscription box. What is that? The I must I'm missing a conversation there. 
Uh, let's see. I gotta move the comments. So, all right, you too, Niall. Six forty-two, and uh, was that UK or Nile? Were you Ireland? Uh, Brad F is in Illinois. Uh, Johnson zero zero forty-five says, "Is the Earth flat?" Um, that is a very good Johnson. That is a damn good question. Let's take a look at that, and I want to show you my simplest explanation to describe why I think it's not flat. And I'm sure that people out there that believe that the earth is flat might have a description for this, but this is how I know it's not flat. It's because if the earth was flat, when the sun comes up, right, the whole planet would be in daylight at the same time because it would be flat and their sun would come up at the same time for everyone, right? So sun comes up, it's morning time from Tokyo to Tucum to, to the tip top of New York. You know what I mean? Like, but that's not how it happens. You know, the sun comes up in California and three hours later it comes up in Georgia. You know what I mean? And 10 hours later it comes up. I mean, I was, it's the opposite of that. <laughs> it comes up in, you know, the East Coast and, you know, a few hours later it comes up in the West Coast. A few hours later, you know, it comes up. And you know, your Europe twelve hours later, whatever. So it does you know, that's how you know the earth is flat. That's how I know the earth is not flat because the sun comes up at different times. So the wax pen is the sun? The wax pen is the sun and this is the arc of no, yeah, this is the arc of the sun around the earth. Yeah. Yeah. So if it was flat, it would just come up, the sun would just come up and the whole sun would be, you know what I'm saying? If the sun came up and the earth was flat, boom. It would just be sunlight across the whole earth at one moment. Okay. You get it, right? Do a joke. You get what I'm saying, though, right? Oh, yeah, but I think the question was a joke. The question was a joke? That was all a waste of my time? I think so. I don't know how to, I don't know how to well, do that. What kind of person nowadays would really think that there's flat? Like, there's whole people. There's a whole fucking evolution of people that do it. I don't know, man. I think you know who I think do I think it's contrarians. I think they just want to disagree with something that everybody agrees with. You know what I mean? There's just like people that are like that. It's not about believing the earth is flat, it's just about believing something that no one else believes. So people are like, what is your problem? And they're like, it's contrarian, you know, they're contrary to something. <laughs> That's the only thing I can understand. It made it make sense. Holy crap. That's a magnum. Damn. <laughs> it smells good though. I like the I like the, the great the great day flavoring. Yeah. Like, oh, did you good. see it comes with tips? Yeah, but is it shooting off fit on there? Oh you gotta make it bigger. Can you? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're already stuck together. Yeah. I didn't know that. I you don't need to so. <sighs> But you know, I have tips. Raw tips? I have raw tips. Mm -hmm. But you know, we don't have to put a tip in there. I was just, you know, I thought it came with them, and I, you know, I didn't know, if you, I didn't know if you. Jeez, she's got a dirty mouth. <laughs> she's not <laughs> Whoever she is, she's uh she uses a lot of innuendo, and she might she might be sexually repressed. Let's see, Paul Villas, I wanted to tell you a little secret about plant seeds in general. You want to tell me? Good. I thought I said sell me, and I'm like sell me, uh, tell me. Paul Villas says I want to tell you a little secret about plant seeds in general. You think you've seen the best cannabis plant ever? No, no, no. <laughs> Are you baiting? Oh, yeah, you got me. You did. You baited me pretty good. What's up? <laughs> what are you talking about, Pablo? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> 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 I 
Huh. Yeah, 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 we don't need a tip. I was just, I just wanted to make sure that you knew there was tips in there. <clears throat> I didn't know they were uh, pre glued together. That's are we gonna wait for unfortunate. I don't know. Fat ass fucking black. We'll give him a minute and we'll see. A few minutes. Show later. Hey, you know we could do one of those contests we do where we try to get people to uh, to do thumbs up and get us to a point. And then we'll smoke it, right? right? All right, so we have 56 thumbs up, people, right now. People, I don't mean to call y'all like that, like you're a, a monolith. Uh, but you know what I'm saying. We have 56 thumbs up. If you guys can uh, hit the thumbs up button and get us up to 75 thumbs up, we'll spark this joint. Uh, or if Reeve comes back before them, we'll, we'll spark it. Then. Once when Reeve gets here. But yeah. if you want us to smoke it right now, yeah. <laughs> you want us to smoke it sooner, <laughs> if you want us to smoke it sooner then uh, hit the like button. We get up to 75, we're going to light it. What do you think? That's the only way we can think of, I can think of. <laughs> okay, so we really appreciate that. And we really do appreciate you guys watching, having a good time. So it's 420, we're going to get as high as humanly possible. We're almost there. Almost there. No, I'm not. I'm not I could be so much higher. You know we're going to go to the cannabis cup. Or I'm going to go to the cannabis cup. You might go. Others might go. We'll see what happens. Uh, probably definitely be there on Sunday. Might be there on Saturday. If any of you guys are going to the cannabis cup, let me know. I'm talking about the one in San Bernardino. I don't know if there are probably other ones going on this weekend. Not this weekend. No. no. But in the next couple of weekends. Different spots. It's like the season. Yeah. So, is it like a tour? Is it like tour, like like a concert or something? I think so. Interesting. It's crazy how we got the 420. I know, right? Because I think the 420. I went to the 421 that was in Denver a few years mm -hmm. ago. Maybe it's up to. So uh, maybe it maybe it goes uh, where it's relevant. This is the first year. It was the first year it was legal in Denver okay. that year, and this is the first year it's legal in California this mm -hmm. year. So cool. maybe it's about timing like that. Okay, so uh, where are we at? Uh, we got 10 more likes and we uh, light this short. And uh, until then, I'm just going to read your comments and uh, shout out and see who's still watching. On the 420 live smoke out. Uh, yeah, here we go. So I have to reach across here. It gives me a little awkward. Uh, let's see. Nancy Fernandez says, good vibes sent from Colorado. Stay lifted, guys. Thanks, Nancy. And good vibes back to you. Irene, Mr. Fuji says, hey, Matt, at Rough House, lots of good vibes from Guatemala, Central America. Thanks, Irene. Appreciate it. Thanks for being a fan, and thanks for watching. Uh, IV Mod says, smoking on some medical mass, 10% THC, 10 CBD. Huh, I've never smoked one that was equal like that. What? Uh, like 10% TB, THC and then 10% CBD. Yeah. TBD, 10% TBD to none. You know what I'm saying? Like equal amount of THC and CBD, but both of them, well, 10% CBD is a lot of CBD, but 10% THC is low C, THC. Yeah. But they're both kind of balanced. So I don't know. I, I really don't know. I mean, how does that affect you? I don't know. Like I've, a, I've smoked um, like Bama's wax with um, fucking CBD crystalline. Yeah. How did it work out? It was good. good yeah. So the CBD doesn't cancel out the THC. So it gets it gets you higher. Yeah. All right. Cool. But it's kind of more like a. Clean time feeling CBD or mellow. I don't know if you well, have you tried the CBD crystal? No, I've had THC crystal, but I have had CBD crystal in them. I have to try it though. Yeah. I'd like to experiment and um, see what the CBDs do to me. Like, I haven't really tried them enough in concentrations to know. Interesting. Okay, uh, thanks for the question there. Uh, or no, not the question, but thanks for uh, watching IV Mods XX. Thanks for uh, commenting. 
Let's see. Whoop, here we go. Uh, oh, we need. We have seventy. All right, guys, we're really close to lighting this blunt right here. Five more. It's kind of a fat blunt for two people, but I think Edgar and I can handle it. So, five more likes, and we light it up. Creation. Don't go down. You have a name for it? It's a grape. Something. It's grape ape. Was that what the flavor was? Yeah. And what kind of weed was it? OG? Can you just play off of that? So, uh, OG ape. Uh, gorilla, gorilla. Uh, 420 High Guy says, hashtag green love. Matt, a hey, hashtag green love back to you, 420 High Guy. Uh, CJ Apeo says, what up, bro? Uh, not too much, CJ Apeo. Just having a great time out in California, having fun on 420 holiday. Got a big weekend planned in the sunshine. What's up with you, CJ? Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Going down a little bit. Johnson, 45 Johnson says, is the earth flat? Will you dab for the earth, please? <laughs> Are you... Are you? You're not. I need to talk to this person who is seriously distressed about the flatness of the earth. He's fucking with you, man. I need to get some paper and pen and some draw some diagrams. I've got some documentaries to recommend to you. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, but I will. I will perhaps do a dab after we get through uh, smoking this blunt, which I'm sure we're going to be smoking because we only need four more likes. All I have to do is hit the like button wherever it's at. It's free. Who I like is Blana. I'm not begging. I'm just saying it's a little game we like to play. <laughs> so um, let's see, where are we at? 420 High Guys, you see those in a lot of the subscription box. What are we talking about? What's in the subscription box? Oh, oh the blunts. The, oh, the wraps. They have, oh, they have okay. wraps. Okay, cool. I can see why 420 High Guy. Honestly, I think it's a good route to go, you know, yeah. less tobacco. The hemp is thinner, it seems like. Yeah, it's here. It's organic and all that stuff that the images on the wrap that I can't remember. Yeah. Totally, yeah. I like it to it. It smokes lighter. You know how you smoke a blunt and you get down about halfway or more, it starts tasting like eh, kind of yeah. Those that taste good almost all the way down to the top. Oh, set you up. <laughs> yeah, man. Teamwork there. Set you up. You lady right here. All right. Uh, let's see. 420 high guy. Do you see? Okay. We are missing. We're going to go down here. I'm going to go there. Oh, I want you to follow. All right. Uh, Cheech and Chong are doing a show soon. What kind of show? What? 75. It is 75. Oh, Woo! Okay, here we go. I got it already. Oh, lighter in hand. Oh, oh, and here's the ashtray. I always say ashtray like it's. Four, I'm a 14 year old. Ashtray, you don't want to call me. You don't smoke this shit. Hey, Reeve. Reeve, do you want to smoke this blunt? Yeah, no. Did he go outside? No, he must be good. <laughs> he must be good. Do you want me to slide over some so you can uh, you can move over and not be stuck in the corner? Yeah. All right, there we go. He comes back out with slide back over. Right? Yeah, we we made a deal with the audience. They have more than come through with seven We're gonna, roll, we're gonna smoke this blunt without reading. Because we hit oh shit seventy seven. My yeah. favorite number. Oh, is it? We're gonna roll. We're gonna okay, roll like we go. Thanks for pulling through on the thumbs up, guys. Like I said, we're not really uh, like begging for thumbs up, so we really do appreciate them. But it's just a really fun game for us to, you know, like, you know, make it exciting. <laughs> and, uh, but we really do feel the love, so thanks for that. And let's go back to the comments. My favorite part of this is to answer comments and talk to you guys. Boba Fettuccini. Boba Fett. Boba Fettuccini. I get it. Boba Fett from uh, Star Wars. I love it. 
a happy 420, Matt. Uh, happy uh, 420 to you, Boba Fettuccine. <laughs> Nowhere, man. 84. Is there, if there is flat, why are these comments so well rounded? Oh, <laughs> well played. Nowhere, man. 84. Thanks for watching. Uh, Cheech just isn't the same, Brad Ferry says. Yeah, no one's the same. Roseanne's not the same. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I thought of Roseanne. Uh, I've been locked a lot of TV with my parents. She ain't the same. We're already an hour and a half now. He said he was going to only do an hour because he had to go to the club. He left? No, I think he's probably just getting ready to go to the club. Uh -huh. or he's taking a nap. I don't know. He might have because of all the and all the because <coughs> we smoked a lot of dabs. <coughs> you know what I mean? You're not talking about it. I'm trying to do stupid gestures for no reason. Because of the comments. Johnson Johnson says 80. What? Oh, 80. Yeah, 80 likes. We 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 y'all blew it out of the water. So thanks for that, guys. Um, yeah, thanks for all the likes, guys. Appreciate that. Um, Asa asked where all the likes from because the, there's more likes than watchers. But we had more watchers earlier, and we've been on like for an hour and a half. Cycling. So yeah, most of the people watching now <laughs> weren't watching it from the beginning, but some people were. So let's do let's play a little game. Uh, shout out if you've been watching from the beginning of the show. Let's let yourself show some love because there's really no way for us to know without going all the way through. But if you've been watching from the beginning of the show, give yourself some love out there. And uh, what if, well, what can they say? Yeah, <laughs> we we need to we need to create a fan. Uh, what do you call it? A a, long, a full show. Yeah, hashtag full show. There you go. Yeah, if you've been been on at the beginning of the show, do us a favor and hashtag full show in the comments, and that way we'll we'll know you've been watching from the beginning. <laughs> or some other or some other hashtag that's more creative that'll let us know uh, you know the same thing. That's one way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never created a hashtag before, so. Ooh, that is really good though. Nice and smooth. Yeah, and uh, and it's got a huge airflow. Mm -hmm. I was almost embarrassed to show that I'm using a coffee cup. Uh -huh. nice tray. You know, what do you do? I'm going to ash it on the floor. I don't know. I am, I am just relaxed right now. Maybe a little bit of a lull in the show right there was a quiet moment. I heard the lady outside. I mean, if they smell weed outside, it's probably like everybody around here is probably smoking weed. This time of night on 420 in the heart of California, Bohemian District. Who knows how many people are smoking around here? All right, so going back to comments, where are we at? Uh, would you have rolled a cross blunt for tonight? Yeah, that was a good idea. Damn it. Brad Ferry, you're from Cali. Have you heard of Island Mountain? No, I have not. I'm not from Cali, but I have spent a lot of time there, but I've never heard of Island Mountain. Have you? Wait a minute, is that the little island that's in the lake that's a bird sanctuary? Because if, if that's what it is, then yeah, I have heard of it. But other if it's not, then no, I haven't, and I'd like to know more. Asa Warren says, where's your friend? Um, uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I might have tapped out. I don't know, it's quiet. <laughs> Let's see, where are we at? That's speculation, but I don't know, honestly. Daniel Hocock, yo, what time is it there? 7 a.m. Wake and Bake in the UK. 
Oh, Daniel, 7 a.m. Waking up. 11 or 6. Yeah. Yeah. A little after 11. It's almost Betty time out here, actually. Ask Warren says task. Cop. Oops. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to getting shape. 0376. Go, go, go. Light it up, buddies. I want you to hit my bong. Cool. Getting in shape. 300. Light it up. And thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, Shana Bell says, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks, Shana. No, Shane, not Shana. Sorry. I, so I mispronounce the name sometimes because it's so far away. I was like, woo. I was winning. Let's see what's, what's happening here. Y'all smoking indica or sativa or mixing? We're mixing a good bit, but... Right now, I think we mixed all the indicas, didn't we? Yeah, we mixed three indicas just now. Yeah. Uh, Eddie likes, and he does a nose hit for the flat earth. <laughs> no, no one here is doing a nose hit. No one here is doing. You okay? You uh, like a yeah? There you go. That's the word. Uh, yeah, we're not doing nose hits. Yeah. We're putting the nose on the bong. I don't know. There's probably a different way. That, I don't know. I don't want to put wax on the nose. I already have nasal problems with. <laughs> you know what I mean? You smoke it and you get like drips and stuff. <sighs> you do. You want to do a nose down? A nose down? No. Pass. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Devil Dog says, "What up? Cheers! Hey, Devil Dog, welcome to the show." Uh, let me see if I can get this name correct. Uh, Kata Knoshki. I hope I got that correct. It says, "Hi from Germany." Hi from Germany. Thanks for watching. I don't know why they held that comment for moderation. It's so weird. Uh, James Bordley says, Nug Life, question mark? I mean, exclamation point. Oh, yeah, exclamation point. Yeah, cool. So I don't need to explain to you who they are. Check out nuglife.com, by the way, if you want to check out who that is. Yeah, music, DJ. Oh, you're asking for music? I don't know what you're asking. Is it East Taste to See? Mm -hmm. so. Oh. Let's show you some boomer. I won't go back there. I only had to go there because uh, it was such short notice and we were trying to get here, you know. <sighs> it happens. Sometimes you don't get the best quality. Hey, um, Riles McGill says, bro, can I send you some chicken nuggets? Uh, I would love some. Excuse me, I would love some chicken nuggets. Thank some you sauce very much. Too, bro. Yeah. Can we get that spicy Szechuan sauce, please? Like two or sauce. Yeah, just load up the sauces. Yeah. That would be great. Thank you so much. Uh, Shane Bell says, "Where's the other guy?" I don't know, actually. Okay, here we go. We got a we got Shane Bell hashtag full show. Thank you so much, Shane Bell, for watching. Um, let's see if I missed any of that. Sometimes I miss stuff. Oh. What do you think of Potcoin or Bitcoin? Bitcoin more so than Potcoin. Hashtag ching chang 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 ching chang chong. Ching chang chong ching bong. Anyway, hashtag thank you, Frank Lowe Labardi, for watching the entire show. You're awesome. I don't remember seeing your name up there. Uh, Dominic and Dembo says, What's up, Matt? Hey, what's up, Dominic and Dembo, 2012? Uh, been spotty, but donated to make up for it. Yeah, you have okay gift. Oh, you've been around the whole time, and yeah, you did donate three times to uh, how many other donations? Zero. Yeah, so you're like the number one contributor of all time. Oh, yeah. So thank you very much. And we do appreciate that very much, dude, actually. It does, it's really nice. And getting in shape, 3000 says, what are you guys' favorite strains? I answer this question every time, so I just know the answer. I pop through it right away. What is it? 
uh, Jack Kara for sativas and pretty much any kind of like true or pure OG strain for indicas. That's my answer, and I'm sticking to it. What about you? Um, I'll do more or less the same. The right. Jack Kara is really good. Too. Yeah, the I use yeah, the best strain. You said earlier you like sativas when you want something for flavor. Yeah. And like what what really so good, tastes good, best. Good, good. Oh yeah, that's good. That's kind of a good combination of good flavor and good high stuff too. All right. Uh so yeah, that's uh that's our that's our weed preferences there. Thanks for the question. That was a good one. Who said that? That was from Getting in Shape 3000. Thanks for that. Uh, Gay Hip Hop Junior says, I'm so high, a caveman can do it. <laughs> okay, cool. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, Unknown says, Why is it burning purple? That's cool. Oh, is it the light? Probably just the lighting. Yeah, and it's also just a webcam, a laptop webcam. So. Yeah. It's good. Honestly, it's some um, incense. <laughs> Did y'all hear? Have you heard about the artificial weed that's like making people bleed out the eyes and die? What? You know the synthetic weed that? Spice? Yeah. It has done it to some people in somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, I forget what state, and it's tragic. But it literally, I think I say literally too much. So I'm literally trying to stop doing it. But <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, this guy's a die. People die. Guys and girls too. I know. I'm gonna hit it a couple more times. But then uh, they took the and it like it was rat poison or something. They bled out the eyes and face and shit and died. And so there's kind of a crackdown more on that, and there should be. That's just terrible. They should make regular marijuana legal, so people would quit fucking weed. Seriously, synthetic marijuana. I remember smoking. Should be. Would you? Would you if you could have gotten real marijuana though? Yeah. Right. You just did it because you could make the real shit. Right. Yeah. Or well, I don't know. At first, it was just like a thing. My friend, I found this store that sold it. Really? Oh, so you might want to try it anyway. Yeah. So we just want to buy It's kind of a general curiosity thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I did it because I, when I did it, it was because I couldn't get any weed. I was in somewhere that didn't have legal weed. The person whose house I was staying at had some already, and so I tried hers, and I, I tried it two or three times, but like about the third or fourth time, it had a really bad reaction, like a little seizure, or like kind of passed out off of it. And uh, I never did it after that. It was just too like, intense, kind of weird, you know, like occurrence or whatever. But yeah. I had a, it had to be that that stuff, you know. Yeah. Me too. I didn't really, 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 really fucking got it. How many dabs and bombs and dives and shit have we got today? Are we hitting up two hours? It's two hours too? Uh, no. All right. So, guys, it's been wonderful hanging out 420 with you guys. I mean, y'all, I keep saying you guys. <laughs> with y'all. Uh -huh, I'm, on <laughs> I'm, I'm you guys high instead of y'all high. I started out saying, hey, y'all. All right, so, yeah. I really appreciate everybody that watched the entire show, everybody that watched two minutes, one minute, 100 minutes. Everything counts. Everything counts. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, uh, appreciate you spending a little time with us on 420. Uh, it's an important day for all of us cannabis enthusiasts across the world. And... Um, we also want to thank again, what was it, uh, Solstice 7? Seven? seven Solstice. Seven, seven Solstice. 
Seven Solstice Dispensary in Koreatown. Yeah. Check them out on Weed Maps, and you said you could Google them too, right? They have a Google page. So yeah, Seven Solstice. Thanks for being on the show, Edgar, as always. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, thanks, you guys remember uh, Reeve was on earlier too, so thanks him for uh, being on the show. Thanks you guys for watching. You want to you say anything before we head out? <laughs> yeah, me too. So, all right. Really appreciate you guys, and we'll see y'all next time. Yep. Happy 420.